Alrighty, howdy neighbors and welcome back to Heart Fragment. Last time we met our main cast, I decided on my character and now we have a random person just in our vicinity, which is always a good time. Come on, wake up. This is important. We pull the covers of Borio. Dad? She's not so loud, you'll wake Gray. My name's Kay. I'm sorry if I frightened you. Hi. Y you didn't frighten me. You're trying to let your voice quick, showing fear to a malicious stranger would just give them all the more reason to continue, right? <laughs> all right, if you say so. Sorry about that. I promise I'm not here to hurt you. I'm about to take my fucking knife, swear to god. I'm here to warn you, actually. You feel your heart beating in your chest. You look toward the sound of the voice. They're at the window. You barely make out the outline of someone in the moonlight. Warn me about what? You're in danger. Really big danger. I promise you. If you tell anyone about the things you learned today, things will go terribly wrong. Too late. This is mean the news article I read earlier, or the story Dad told me. There's someone after you. His name is Jasper. Okay. After me? Please be careful. One wrong move and things will go terribly, horribly wrong. The voice repeats their warning, as if to emphasize it. Kid, are you still up? No. The other voice suddenly calls out from the hall. A serious voice drops further into a whisper. Now, the bare minimum. You can hardly hear it. I have to go now. Take care of yourself, okay? I will not. Back soon. Be careful. Oh, Bull of K is gonna be back. <laughs> I better fucking move. <laughs> you have the faint sound of someone jumping down to the ground outside, and footsteps running away. Glance out your window just in time to see the shadow running off. You're left alone, confused with the strange words spoken to you. Saturday. <laughs> Ugh. We got feeling dazed and confused. The conversation with the mysterious figure that appeared last night is clear in the forefront of your mind. You remember falling asleep after that. You should probably tell Dad before you ever think about meeting up with Shannon. Kid, come here. No. Be nice. Ugh. Despite your conversation, or your conviction to tell him the truth, you still find yourself wincing at his voice. It's like last time your father motions for you to sit near him. You know, avoiding me won't help a damn thing. Yeah, fine. It may be true that your avoidance isn't helping things between you two, but he's just so damn frustrating to be around. Listen, about last night, it wasn't my intention to piss you off. Guess I just find it tough to speak to you and all that. Sure. He always claims that he didn't intend to do things when he talks to you. He didn't intend for things to get this bad between us. He didn't intend to make you feel abandoned as a child. He didn't intend to blah 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 blah. Just shut up, old man. No one cares about all your excuses. But this time, like it or not, you need answers. I heard a voice inside my window last night. A voice at your window? Let's go wide with alarm. What did it say? That I'm in danger. The father breathes a sigh of relief. Wait, relief? What? Oh, okay. He knows who that voice is, with only that much to go off of. What kind of strange people to spend time with? Who exactly is Kay? And why the hell is he sneaking up to my window in the middle of the night? Damn kid. Looks like he's trying to force the rest of the story out of me. Can you talk like a normal person just this once? Kid, I decided last night that I don't want to keep secrets from you any longer. What are you talking about? I want to say all this for a while, but... Listen, this is a secret, you got it? My mother truly did want things to just stay as normal as possible. What's he saying? 
Mom never kept any secrets from me. And they've never been normal. The idea that he thinks things have been normal so far between us is a joke. It's up to do with whatever he was holding back last night. You and me for just a bit longer, kid. Let me continue that story I was telling last night. Are you trying to tell me about Mom's drug? Oh. Are you trying to tell me that Mom's drug created mutations? Or that you were fired for researching Restricted Human Experimentation Project? You know about that? Your dumb rambling yesterday made me wonder what the hell was going on. I looked up your names on search.ing last night. Oh. Didn't expect you to do something like that. Well, I did. So here's your chance to explain things in a way that'll make you look good. Before I find the truth myself. I'm glad the voice lines line up with what's being read, because I got lost. Because they're not the same. You wouldn't find a damn thing. Oh, is that the mom in the background? That's cool. Love that. And why not? All I had to do was search your name to find all this. That news article doesn't even scratch the surface. And not a single other source even tried to find an answer. Huh? Your eyes lock with his. With you trying to read the other's intent. That lab, those experiments, the drug to create superhuman abilities. I don't expect that... Oh, I don't expect that you're going to believe me right away when I tell you. But there were big things going on when your mother was alive and working on her... Pana panacea drug. She was. Your mother was one hell of a special woman. Was she enough that you walked down on her the moment she got pregnant? No, I... It wasn't like that. <sighs> I'm surprised. That article's still up, to be honest. Why? Did something go wrong with the project? I can't tell if he showed up because of the topic we're on, or because he has it has something to do with mom. I always hated talking about your mother. Probably because he feels some sense of guilt about leaving her. Maybe just because he hates talking about his faults and wrongdoings. Can you please, for once in your life, actually speak to me like a normal father? I'm trying to have a discussion with you about mom. Why do Oop. Don't you keep telling me to be more honest with you. Well, doing that now. Being honest and asking what the hell is going on. Please start venting. The words just spill out. One after another. You don't even... Oh, don't even try to yell at him. And yet, surprisingly, your father doesn't seem angry about it. Usually, he'd tell you to watch your tongue and scold you for speaking to him in such a way, but... This time, he almost looks proud of you. Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. Not any important one, at least. I didn't know that you won't tell me the truth. Kid, wait. It's only a strange... Oh, it's only the strange degree of desperation in his voice that stops you from leaving without another word. As to what do you think I am, Dad? Did you think that... Oh, did you think I'm that gullible? That you could feed me some piece of fiction, and it would make all the issues between us better? Your father grabs a piece of paper from the table and quickly scribbles something down on it. Take this. What is it? Here it contains something that resembles a map, with hastily written directions. Room 205 is circled at the bottom. Go to this address later on. I already have plans with Shannon today. I come afterward. Please. But this story sounds like a ridiculous work of fiction, and yet... Fine. I'll be there. What is the note to self? Is it in the log? No. What the fuck is the note to self? It's not here. What the fuck? Maybe, maybe it will tell us here. Oh god, absolutely not. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. 
That is, that's too much. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I will just, I'll just try to figure it out at some point. Fine, and I'll be there. Without another word, you head out the front door and slam it closed. So many dots. <laughs> Please let me course party levels of just so many dots. <laughs> it was today we were supposed to meet up, right? You try knocking again. Oh my god, I hate when people are late. Oh my god, I'm on time. <laughs> Don't make me waste my time. Said the door keeps open to shut and finally pops her head out. Huh? What are you doing here so early? We were supposed to meet up today at noon, right? Oh crap, I totally slept in. Yeah, I could tell. Come in, come in. I really like Shannon's hair though. I wish when I had my long hair I would think to do stuff like that. I did not because I was stupid, but I mean, it would have been nice. She's always such an airhead. Shannon plops down on her bed and hugs her favorite stuffed animal, a toy that you won for her a few years back at the fair. You have a matching one in your own room at home. So, I have something I gotta tell you. Oh, please tell me, madam. What's up? Okay, so, you know Dustin Bladham, right? I should have known this would be about a guy. <laughs> yes, me out! Ooh, girl! She flings herself up and punches the air. Brown eyes sparkling and blonde hair flying everywhere. You invited me over this weekend so you can tell me that. No offense, but you having a new boyfriend isn't exactly big news anymore. Um, rude as fuck. Yes, it is. No, no, this one is different. I really like Dustin. Plus, we were friends for a long time. I never want to hurt him. And you said that about Hunter. Well, if you don't like my taste in boys, you can always just leave. Meanie. <laughs> You're such a drama queen. I'm not! Queen sounds so old. If anything, I'm a drama princess. Yeah. You tell by your Princess Robin poster. It doesn't take Shannon long before she transitions to the next subject that she's interested in. That's the thing you can always count on her for. You never need to come up with any conversation topics. After all the odd things that have happened, it's definitely a welcome change of pace to talk about something normal. Now have you been in the love department? Hmm? Oh, the heart eyes. I don't like the heart eyes. <laughs> Make them go away. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to troll my eyes. Don't be a bully. I'll do a million times, and I'll tell you a million times more. I'm not interested in anyone. Boo! So boring. I like that. This this face invokes less fear and terror than the feckin' hard eyes. <laughs> it's not boring. I'm just not interested. Happens. Besides, who needs a nagging partner when I've already got good old Shannon to pester me? Pfft. I'm not sure if I take it as a compliment or an insult. Take it as both. Maybe a little both. <laughs> well, I could always introduce you to Mason. Who? Oh. Mason? We told you she got already. Brought him up last week. The cutie in her science class. Ring any bells. I'll be honest, I really don't care. Aw, Iris. Don't you ever just want a prince or a knight in shining armor to come sweep you off your feet? To pull you up onto his horse and ride off into the sunset with him? No. No. I don't mean well. But if I ever do get swept off my feet someday, I don't want it to be something I go out of my way to search for. 
What do you mean? Rather, it'd be what I least expected, I guess. Cute! See, I knew you had a hidden romantic side somewhere deep down. Hey, the thing about what I said was romantic. It was! You're so adorable. Anyone you date in the future is gonna be so lucky. Or cursed. Hush, they'll be lucky. You know. I gotta ask. Did you make an account on the site I told you about? Right, um, Staric Social or something like that. Yep, that one. Not yet. Oh, come on. I post selfies there. You totally want to see my cute face on your phone every day, right? <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't. I suppose it won't be so. I suppose it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? You can word it a little more convincing than that, you know. <laughs> but that's okay. I know you struggle with being honest, Iris. You're super cute, even when you act all distant. I'm not cute. Cutie pie, Iris is the cutiest of cuties. Oh hush. Fine, I guess I can make an account. Awesome, awesome, awesome! Actually, here, hand me your phone. I'll download it and add myself for you. <sighs> Alright. And the thing is, we swiftly across the touchscreen as she edits your profile. Tutorial! <laughs> I don't- No! <laughs> no, 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 no! I don't want to manage it! You now have an account on Star X Social. I hate it! <laughs> a phone will appear at the bottom right of your text box. Where you can check notifications or bonus content in CGs. This screen will also show you what levels your inner psyche has reached, display any unlocked personality traits, and provide character bios as you meet new people. Okay! Okay, that's not bad. I thought it was about to be like the, um, in Celine, where it was like something changed, something changed, something changed. I, I don't. And there would- it's already a lot. <laughs> this game is so bright and colorful. My oh my. Let's go to Rick to Psyche. Trust. Let's go to Genuine. Selfless over here. Curiosity. Kind of in the middle. Creativity. <laughs> Bars containing large amounts of darker colors result in the values listed to the left. While pastel colors result in values listed on the right. Wait. Why? So I guess I'm more artistic than bored? More selfless. I, 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 mm, I need to back out of that. I'm about to have an issue. Notes. Notes to self. There it is. That's that's what I was looking for. Okay. Profiles. Shannon. Oh. Romance. Ayo. Hey, in the words of Princess Robin, step one, fall in love. Step two, I haven't figured that out yet. Same, Shannon. Gender, female, age, 18, almost 19. Birthday, May 25th. Hi, I'm Shannon. My friends say I am a typical extrovert. My personality type is ENFJ. And I'm ISCJ, so I don't know about that. I love my cute, whittle, Turkish, Angora, Mr. Muffin Cakes. With all my heart. Forever a fan of Princess Robin. Please give us another season. Robin X Bluebird forever. Okay. Sorry, social. Trying to tell my bestie and get an account on here. But someone is being awfully stubborn. Maybe if I post more selfies, it'll be more enticing. Has anyone else ever listened? to the Princess Robin soundtrack and just cry because it's so beautiful. I don't think I'll ever get over it. 
Okay, not gonna lie, I'm not sure if I should set my post to public or private. I'm gonna keep an eye. I'm gonna keep them in public for now, so stalk away. Updating my profile today. Did y'all ever see those cute little custom emotes that you can get as an attachment for messages? I'm totally gonna make the max amount of them. So adorbs. What's this? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> this looks like the background of my computer! <laughs> Okay. Oh, I can change the full wallpaper. What do I have right now? Space? You know what? I like the space. Fuck it. Let's go. Fuck it, we ball. There you go. Oh, I... It's bigger than I thought it would be. Let's save real quick. Oh my god, I'm still on Act Zero! <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Let's go. There you go. Turn on the fae. Hee hee, look at this pic I chose for you. Oh, whoa, you're so cute, Iris. Thank you for your uh, woes. I'm cute, right? Yeah, thanks, Shannon. It always flies when you're with her. I guess I should head out now. Already? It's not even getting dark yet. My dad wanted me to meet up with him somewhere. What? For real? This is just some pretty weird hall. Huh? Has some explaining he wants to do. But this your assignment? I'm still so upset about that. They're trying to act normal, but I can totally tell something is bothering you today. What gave it away? Acting too normal. I was pretty quiet, but today it's like you're trying to make conversation more than usual to hide that something is bugging you. Oh, okay. My father can explain things somehow then. I guess it'll have been worth it, right? You say so. I'm worried about you, Iris. I hate seeing you all sad and mopey. Literally, that's my default. <laughs> Wearing so much, dummy. Who knows where's goodbye? When it's good enough to leave, a question enters your mind. Like, how come your stars are only in this part? You could totally drape it around the frame. Because it, it's just going to get in the aircon, right? It's just going to blow in the aircon, so it's going to do the flutters. And that's probably not the best of sounds. You have no idea if, what I mean if I mentioned my dad's story, would she? What are we worth asking about? Don't. No, I shouldn't. She'd think I'm crazier. I just can't. Don't forget to check your feed, okay? I won't. Heart fragment. Cool! This is the place? It looks like it was an apartment building at some point. But it's getting run down now. Is it abandoned? I guess there's someone needs a secret hideout or something. This is the right place to do it. There are so many rooms that it's practically a maze. I think this is it. After finding the right one, you jiggle the door a few times. Nothing. Why is the doorknob so high up? You jiggle it again. Whoa. If you ask for surprise, the stuck doorknob suddenly gives way. This is you flying to a small room, but pick it to someone without warning along the way. Sorry. Way to make a great first impression, Iris. Ugh. The door was stuck. Oh? Hi! Hello. I'm Kay. Oh, it's the voice I heard last night. The, uh, he's a lot younger than I thought he would be. Somewhere around my age, probably. Even though that may him short for his age. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's good to meet you too. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you came, kid. <clears throat> the 
Aside from her father and Kay, there's only one other person in the room. He's an older, pudgy looking man wearing a techie cowboy hat. Please let me see the cowboy hat. I beg. This is Dexter. Cowboy hat. It's a friendly meet you, Iris. No! They're depriving me from cowboy! <laughs> this is a fucking tragedy. Thanks. I'm so upset. Show me the cowboy. Nice to finally meet you. How long have weirdos been meeting up in back alley like this? This is an apartment building, Madame. What on earth is this place? Cheap lodging, that's about it. Ain't that the fancy, but it works. Biggest thing we use this place for is storage. Come here. He leads you to the corner of the room and opens the door of what appears to be a closet. Inside there are numerous different saves of different sizes and shapes. They all seem to have varying types of locks. What is all this? Every one of them has a different key or combination. Anything we need, mostly classified documents and such, gets stored in here. If anyone breaks into one, they won't be breaking into the others. Is this seriously necessary? What are those documents even supposed to be about? Those were old files that should have been buried along with the original project. I managed to salvage a few. You don't all really believe this, do you? It's a conspiracy theory at best. Kid, these documents, they're... The documents that prove the existence of lab-engineered DNA mutation. Thanks, Kay. What? We would have beat you around the bush all night if we left the explanation to you. It's not your place, kid. It is now! Sure it is. You're just as much a part of it as any anyone else in the room. This boy, Kay. Bless your father's cold tone with a smile. That's something you've never been able to do. They're arguing. It looks like they have they get along fairly well somehow. Forget it. That's about the sum of it, kid. Alright, then show them to me. No one wants to volunteer to actually prove this shit is real, huh? No, it's like they do, so I can't believe it. You really don't know. It's only the shock in Kay's voice that made me- You realize everyone is staring at you in disbelief. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Gray. If they don't already know, then... I know, I get the picture. I'm just gonna say it straight up. I'm beating around the bush. Fucking finally! No more putting it off. Her mother was a mutant, descendant of the lead scientist, and so are you. Nice. So many dots. Yeah, and I guess we'll see live under my bed, too. Iris is true. None of us joking around here. I don't even know any of you. He had told me something like this and expected me to believe it without any proof. If it really is true, show me the documents. Prove that you're not all crazy. No stress, Gray. I already got one of the documents ready for the kid. That's... No stress. They're gonna be in danger from looking at just one of them. That's right. Okay, he said something about danger last night, too. What's going on? Here, take a look at this. Oh, please. Please, oh, please be a wall of text. You know how much I love those. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll confidential. Click to continue. Yes! <laughs> oh, cursor at the ready. The following document is an overview of Project NMCI-2XXX. As of June 15th, 2XXX, the experimentation has begun at location X109. Subjects involved have willingly committed themselves to the project with consent forms attached. Purpose. The human body has the capacity to learn things at an often underestimated rate. 
current studies of human evolution suggest we will not reach this potential until decades into the future. As such, Project NMCI-2XXX seeks to speed this evolution process with alteration to DNA sequences. Risks and Challenges Due to the complexity of the human body, a single change of the DNA can be catastrophic. Our commitment to our subjects includes a written statement that no drug shall be used on live subjects until approved for such. Additional notes. The contents of this document are confidential. Any release will be grounds of immediate termination. Project NMCI-2XXX We continue flipping through the pages. It seems like most of it is medical garble that's beyond your level of expertise. One thing is clear enough though. The document suggests the existence of a human engineering project that began somewhere close to the year 2021. Ah, oh, we just missed it. Son of a... Take a sip of... A sip of gamer juice. It's water, by the way. These guys must really know how easy it would be to throw together some big words and pass it off as a real document, right? <clears throat> as you ponder this, your father snatches the document back from you. Hey, I wasn't done. That's plenty enough. Ugh. Listen, if you got any more questions, I'll answer them directly. <clears throat> no, you won't! Liar McGee! You're feeling testy today, huh, Gray? He's always like this. Hmm? Why did I just read your stupid papers? And why are you grinning at me like that? Just that I don't think I've ever seen actually curious about something I'm able to say. Who said I was curious? Quit smirking. <sighs> if Yan started looking all smug, like he just won some kind of battle of wits against me, I'd have just admitted it without hesitation. <clears throat> Be honest with you in your life, kid. You really do want to know more, don't you? I don't want to look like an asshole in front of Kay. You know her girl with no people. Ma -na -na. I'll admit my curiosity. Just once. Is he really that pleased that we're talking about all of this? No, he's not. I don't know, I'm curious. A little bit. How could I not? How could I not be after you, after your reaction to all this? Go ahead, ask what you want to know. <laughs> oh, girl, <laughs> do you have hours? How do I know you didn't make this, oh, you didn't make this, just screw with me. <clears throat> Let me ask you this. What do you think your father and two strangers gained from lying about this? It's a fair point. What would they gain? Here's the obvious question. Do you all seriously believe this? Of course. We don't have anything to gain from making it up. Are you sure you're not all just crazy? I promise that isn't it. You have only seen the bare minimum of proof thanks to Grumpy Gray. Hmm. There's a reason your mother was able to create the idea of her... Panacea? Drug. It was based on herself. <clears throat> Hate to admit it. But there is some sense to the statement. If Mom was entirely human, then making a drug like this would... <sighs> what am I thinking? I shouldn't be taking this seriously. Any other questions? No, but I want to check my phone. Nothing. Boo! Any other questions? Um, yeah, I have a couple. How quickly did you get all of these documents, then? If it's supposed to be classified and destroyed. That would be my job. I tell you my secret of getting a hold of them, but then I have to kill you. Funny. Funny. Lighten up, kid. I'm just skinning around. 
He sounded so serious I almost believed him. That's enough, Dexter. You don't have to scare poor Iris. Thank you, Kay! Finally, someone who cares. <clears throat> Ignore him. Dexter's got a wicked sense of humor. In all honesty, though, hacking. I used to be trained to work in cybersecurity, actually. But, well, that didn't pan out. Why? What happened? I met someone who wanted to protect more than everyone else. Decided to put my skills toward that instead. You just know this, you're in good hands. Here are the questions. You know, Gray has not been answering shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really understand why you need all these, though. What do you plan to use them for? Good question. Thing is, you never know when a piece of information might come in handy. We got documents that talk about the drug side effects, DNA sequences that were altered, potential safety concerns. Don't get me wrong, I don't have any issues with those types of things, but it never hurts to be on the safe side. Somehow your father's reassurance doesn't instill any confidence in you. Any other questions? <clears throat> he says something about me being in danger. It seemed like the whole reason he showed up the at my window, and yet no one has elaborated up about it. Gray. Don't give me that look. I n oh, you know I'm not going to give you any sort of look by now. Don't sass me either while you're at it. I wouldn't have to if you were just honest with them, you know. Hmm. The boy does have a point. You're sassing me now too, Dexter? <sighs> I'm not going to get off the hook, am I? These three have a weird vibe. It's like their rivals are friends at the same time. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you getting paranoid. Too late. No need to be looking over your shoulder at oh all the time if you don't need to. So this Jasper person isn't actually an immediate threat? Maybe not an immediate threat, but still a threat. Let's face it. If I haven't told you something to scare you into action, you won't have told your father about it, right Iris? No, probably not. Exactly. I had to get the ball rolling or Gray would be, you know, being himself and avoiding things. In other words, the kid is a master manipulator. Don't word it like that. I'm only looking out for Iris. Maybe someone I barely know say that he's looking out for me is actually pretty creepy. Unless you take that document home and read it over. But none of these pages can leave the room. a bit too much to take in. Mr. walks up to you and puts a hand on your shoulder. He smiles in a way you can imagine a father would give to his child. What a smile you have no memories of receiving from your real dad. Go and get some rest. We'll come back tomorrow when you're ready to take in more information. Dexter, I don't think that's a good idea. You know there are risks, don't you? You can protect your own kid, can't you, Gray? Mr. gives your father a grin. That makes it look like he's issuing him a challenge. One more time, then. I'm glad you know everything now. But well, we gotta cut it short. You can't be here too long. I just wanted you to know who the friendly faces to look out for are. Let's head home, kid. But I didn't get to see the cowboy. No! The cowboy! My heart is shattered to fragments because I couldn't see the cowboy! <laughs> No. Check your social media feed before bed. Absolutely. Shannon LaFay. Life is good right now. Got my cute little Dusty, XOXO. Got my bestie signed up for an account. If they don't post, I'll nag them for 10 hours. And of course, feeling better than ever. Now that my precious kitty, Mr. Muffin Cakes, can finally snuggle in bed with me. Nope, sorry. Finish. She looks like she's having a good night. Want us have a reply? Yes! Show her that we're using it. I see you're having a good night, Shannon. Oh gee, you actually saw the post? Like you actually looked? 
course I did. Set me up for a website, so I may as well use it. How oh, exciting! Are you good tonight, too? I'll be fine. Don't want to talk about it. That's not really important, just the usual issues. Aw, did you get into a, a fight with your dad again? Something along those lines, yeah. Thanks for asking, I appreciate it. I'm always here for you, Iris. Sleep well. Shannon points up! With a million thoughts about the events of the day running through your head, you take longer than usual to fall asleep. Woof. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you later.